Hey guys, this is Otaku Lori, and we are back with Days. Um, we are currently confronting the black haired girl. Ooh. What the? This is really weird, but that doesn't really matter right now. A girl is waiting for me. Alright, we aren't confronting her. I'm going to ignore this for now and head for the cafeteria. Alright, here I am. There she is, Iris. The girl I've been stalking for ages. She's now sitting on a table waiting for me. Alright, let's see. How should I approach her? You were... You're here earlier than I thought. Wait, she might think I know the usual time she gets here. She'll be able to figure out I'm her stalker. Hi! Too plain. It might turn out an awkward moment. Turn into an awkward... Uh, Hi! It too plain, it might turn into an awkward moment if I don't play the cards right. I should say something after. Hi, have you had lunch yet? Mm, no, I might sound like I'm telling her she doesn't wait for anyone to eat. Hi, am I late? Well, she might think I'm always late, so I'm asking her if I got here early this time. Hi there, baby. Don't be ridiculous. Ugh, this is giving me a headache. You know what? I'll just go there and say hi. Let fate do the rest. Uh, hi, Iris. Ah, ah, ah. Uh. Mmm. She placed her book down. You came out of nowhere. You almost gave me a heart attack. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, about that. It, it's all right. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Hmm. She's staring at me. Why is she staring at me all of a sudden? Some... something wrong? What the pen? She have thought of me. Huh? What's my voice have to do with anything? Good. Uh, no, I'm fine. Because you're not talking like... Because you're talking like... Like... This... All of the... 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 Sorry. I'm sorry. You're not intimidated by me, are you? What, what, why would I? Uh, uh, I'm not a monster or anything. I'm not going to shove my head in your ch hand in your chest and pull your heart out to eat it. What, what, wait, what? And insert my other arms in the same hole for each of your kidneys and intestines. What the? Then snap your ribs one by one so I can get a hold of your lungs. What are you talking about? <laughs> I always wanted to make a horror movie. You see, a lot of people seem to be afraid to talk to me ever since Wherever You Are became popular. But to be honest, it's Wherever You Are that's popular, not me. I'm just a regular person, person attending a regular school. I'm not special or anything, I just made it. Oh, oh, did you know there are actually people who are calling me Master or God? I mean, it really surprises me. It surprised me when I first heard that. It's well, of course, it's flattering to hear such, but it's kind of too much, right? Imagine a random person hearing that from a fan. They'll be like, Master Iris, who the heck is this? Oh, so great director, anyway. Then when he sees my work, he'll be disappointed to find out I only made indie movies. <laughs> but your works are really are great. I don't think it's not something to be embarrassed of, even if it's only indie. Yeah, but thanks. You see, to me, maybe it's an okay, it's, an, it's a okay in the indie level, but it's not Hollywood great. It doesn't have to be Hollywood great just to call it great, that's what I think. Oh? One day you'll make a really terrific movie that can compete with the Hollywood ones, but for now we'll just we're just students making a low budget indie movie that's already amazing. Yeah, no. But for now, we're just students making a low budget indie movie that's already What made. What you made is a nice stepping stone to your career in the future. Hmm. You're right. Maybe I'm expecting too much from my work. Take a step by step. Wait. Take a step by step. Hmm. And you know what? It's even better. You're not scared of me anymore. Huh? Oh, uh, I never said I was scared of scared in the first place. Yeah, but you don't s s stop that. 
Enigma Mama. <laughs> hey, girl, is this the guy? Two familiar girls come to approach Iris. Yep. They, walk, they went on their way and sat beside her. Ciel, this is Mikado and Carmine, my best friend. Yo, nice to meet you! Why am I giving them this? Okay, never mind. Carmine and Mikado, huh? I've always seen them with Iris, but I never bothered knowing their names. Girls, this is Ciel, the one who decorated the ring. Hi. Damn, here I thought I'd be all, I'll be all alone. And here I thought I'll be all alone with Iris. I was expecting a cuter guy. Huh? Well, he's not half bad. Who are you guys, what are you guys talking about? I was just asking him to come because of the ring. Of course, he came here with the ring for you. Okay, CL, do it short and simple. Just ask her, will you marry me? Uh, uh, guys. <laughs> hey, look, she's actually blushing. My, my, my. <laughs> Guys! No. Okay, okay. I know, I gave her. Okay, I gave her the. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm so sorry. Just ignore them. Um, her. Sure. Now that we're here, hopefully ma'am Sung Sungit won't interrupt us anymore. Yeah, she can easily break a conversation in five words. She broke your date? I'll be quiet now. <laughs> About the ring? I pulled the ring off of my finger and showed it to them. You were wearing it? Well, it was a place to keep it hidden, so I... How long have you been wearing it? Years? You, you didn't. May I please have it? Oh, sure. I the ring. I noticed her hands were trembling. She was going teary-eyed, and her brow eyebrows were contracted. I'm scared. Was it something I said? Surprisingly, she grabbed her book and left us in haste. Iris! Alright, Iris! No, no, I'm doing it. Letter. But. Why in the world were you wearing that ring? I shouldn't. Do you have any idea what that. Carmen, he doesn't know a thing about the ring. He doesn't know it's special. <sighs> she looks pissed. Too pissed for a simple ring. Surely there's a story behind this. The ring is special? I think it's best that I fill you in. Alright. You know about the film Left in Happiness, right? Left in Happiness, right? It's her first film. Yes, well that film was actually based from her childhood memories. Really? She had a close friend back when she was eight. She really, really adored this friend of hers. She used to tell us almost every day how sweet that guy is. That he's the first person to know her problem every time she cries. How caring and helpful he is when she's in trouble. I'm guessing he's the guy. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. But her friend had to move to a different place. Because of that, she wanted to surprise him with a handmade gift before he leaves. Just like in the film, only, other way, only the other way around. Unfortunately, she didn't finish it in time, so her friend left without even knowing she had a gift for him. I see. So what happened to the necklace? Uh, no, no, no. In the film, she used a necklace as the special gift. But in true, sto in true story, it's not even as fancy as that. Not even made of silver. What is it, then? You were wearing it. You were wearing it. You were wearing it. Yes, it's the ring. I... I have no... Wait, wait. If that ring is special, then why did she use it as a prop? And why is she reclaiming it just now? It's been three years already! I wish we could tell you, but even we don't know the reason. 
All we know is that after we attended her fan club's event a week ago, she got really stressed. Fan club event? Well, her fans were fanatic enough to make a special event just for her. Right after the event, she cried to us and said a lot of things we didn't fully understand. Like, what have I been doing all these years? I became a director because of him. How could I have forgotten him? And yada yada yada, more drama stuff as expected. Carmen, stop that! Act like the friend you are! Hey, I'm not the drama queen here. But you're unbelievable! Wait. I can see where this is going. This is all started this all started because of me. I ask you two for a favor. Would you go get would you give me the chance to talk to her to tell her I'm sorry? I don't think that'll make any difference, but it's better than nothing, I guess. We can go after her right now. No, no, we don't know if she wants to speak with anyone at the moment. Could be. How about this? M Mikado and I will talk to her first and see if she's cool with it. We'll give you the green light after dismissal, 4 o'clock. Sounds fine, but how will I know? We can meet up lockers if you want. I can get your cell phone numbers. Or can I get your cell phone so numbers or something? It's easier to contact each other the other way. Oh. Here's the thing. We don't really fancy giving our numbers to random people. Uh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, and another thing. If you don't show up there in 15 minutes, we'll be on our way. I have to be somewhere by that time. Sure, no prob. I'll be there. You'll miss it. We, gotta pick, we better get going now. Gotta find her before lunch break ends. Alright. See ya. See you later. Both of them left. I'll just eat. Got a room for two more? What? That didn't turn out well, did it? Maybe I kind of messed up? I don't even know what that ring was. Wait, wait, let's get something I need first. Yeah, tell us everything we well, we fill our stomachs. Sure. Is that for real? A little paper mache ring can make a person that emotional? I can't even tell I can't even tell if the ring is special to her or not. Well, at least I gave it back to her. She should be, she should be thankful she should be thankful you didn't throw it away for three years. Yeah, you took good care of it. For the wrong reason. Wrong reason? Wrong reason? Wrong reason? She got it while it's still in good condition. What's wrong with that? I took care of something that was meant for a guy she loves. Oh. So does that mean you still can't win her heart? Shoot! What? Come on! Don't let that. Just because she likes someone doesn't mean you had no chance. Hopefully. Oh, hey, it's almost time for class. Already? We just ate. So let's go now? You guys go ahead. Huh? Huh? Why? Let's just do what he says. See you later, see ya. Okay. What? I don't get it! Please drag Charmy away with her and laugh. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this here because then she's ready. I'm sorry if this episode was shorter. I don't really know because I haven't checked how long this episode has been. Well, see you guys later. No, I didn't just drop something. Goodbye.